As students dreamed of spring break, the university warned of a bomb. Again. I've kind of started to not regard them as seriously as I used to. Uh, they're still like, I still take them seriously and it's still a big deal, but you know, in class, all of us were kind of like looking at each other like, again, really? Kind of frustrated that somebody would take something that's so serious and turn it into something that is almost a joke. Students may be growing tired of bomb threats, and understandably so. Thursday's written message in a university bathroom warning of a bomb Friday on A&M's campus is the third bomb threat in less than two months at the university, and fourth this school year. We have to bring extra people in, we have to make adjustments to scheduling, uh, as well as to our day-to-day -day tactics on how we're going to handle things. Someone who makes a bomb threat could be charged with making a terroristic threat, which is a third degree felony. That carries a prison term of up to 10 years. And up until this threat, the university has a suspect in connection with everyone. But with so many threats in a short period of time, what about people who ignore the threats in Code Maroons? Any emergency alert that they receive uh, through Code Maroon should be taken serious. Uh, we put that information out specifically to protect those, the students and the campus communities. And some are thankful of that. I'm grateful they take it seriously. Uh, I mean, I'd rather them take it seriously and it be nothing than something happening that they take some extra time before they warn us about it.